Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're here with your brother Muhammad Tawfi from Guidance Avenue and our new fresh brother. Jade. Jade, how are you doing? Good today, you know? Sun's out. Yeah, it's a nice day today. Sun's out, beautiful yeah. today. You've got a smile on your face. Of happy course, you're always happy, you know? Beard um, is growing and it's <laughs> uh, looking good. Yeah, so, man, we wanted to document this for, for everyone's benefit, inshallah. This is literally the first time that Jade, our brother Jade, will be stepping foot into the message. So, uh, join us, inshallah. carpet that is set in a direction towards uh, a certain direction do you know which way that muslims pray towards have you ever heard of it um, where muslims pray no I don't. okay so a muslim will pray towards the kaaba which is the house that abraham prophet abraham or ibrahim built originally yeah okay in mecca which is actually as well here's an interesting fact mecca is not only is mecca the city in the center of the earth right but the Kaaba itself is actually the literal central central point in the whole earth, whole universe, in the whole earth, oh, you know, earth. whole planet, basically. Okay, basically, yes. Alhamdulillah. So, okay, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Any first impressions coming into a place? To be honest, I've, I've been past there so many times. Right. I never think there's such a peaceful yeah. place here. You know, off the motorway. Off the motorway. Yeah, it's peaceful. Cool. It's Carpet, it looks like yeah. you know, yeah. relaxing <laughs> there, you yeah. know. Yeah, now I mean, uh, originally, mm. carpets are something that you do have a lot in London, but originally, in the time of our Prophet, peace be upon him, and by the way, um, after our Prophet's name, one of the rights we must give him as Muslims is to say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that's in Arabic, you will peace be upon him. Oh, in okay. English, peace be upon him. So every time we yeah. speak of, every time you say his name, I will then say, Peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. Or if I say it, you say, Peace yeah. be upon him. Okay, so, yeah. so, inshallah. And um, I think this message is before there is down here. So the Quran, it's a compilation of 114 chapters, mm -hmm. over 6,000 verses, and it was all given to our Prophet, peace be upon him. The first verse of the Quran, which I spoke to you about briefly the other day, mm -hmm. or I said about how it was transcribed to him, but it was Angel Gabriel that came about the first verse, which was read. Right. So obviously we'll be going through the Quran as well, inshallah, and any questions you have, we, as Muslims, what we do, Jay, to make sure that our religion, to make sure that we are certain upon our religion, yeah. that our knowledge is sound, everything we refer back to the book. So this is where you find where pe we can never ever judge a people, we can never judge a religion by the people, mm -hmm. because the easiest way and the clearest way to judge a religion would be by the teaching. Right. you or me mm -hmm. or our cameraman here could misinterpret and misapply a certain yeah. teaching in the religion as mm. all of us are not perfect however this exactly yeah however this book the quran every word inside it is from god the almighty god mm. allah you know yeah so there are english translations so you can take a look at it inshallah so now i'm very excited for you now because it's the first time you're going to do your ablutions oh, although yeah. <laughs> so let's get into the ablution area and um, yeah, we'll go and do our we'll do it, shall we? I think I kind of see because at work I have Muslim friends, so you and see, every lunchtime they wash their feet, okay, yeah. and wash their hands before they yeah. pray. I see this every day, so yeah. now you're gonna see it, yeah, yeah, yeah basically. So, yeah. so, before we start doing our ablutions, we start with the word of Allah, we say yeah. Bismillah, which means in the name of Allah. So, we start by saying Bismillah, Bismillah. So, firstly. Water to the right, and we always start. The Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu A lot of things in Islam we start with the right, not the left. Okay. And some things we focus on the right, like even when we eat, we eat with the right hand. We yeah, clean ourselves, right, right, clean right, the left. right as well. Yeah. So, making sure that you get water on every part of your hand and in the fingertips and on the front of the hand, all the way up to the wrist. And okay. We do, and we do that three times, yeah. So this is obviously half of the answer this minute now, yeah, as you've already said. Yeah. After you've done that, we do the same with the left hand, making sure that water runs through your fingertips and touches every part of your hand, from your fingertips all the way to your wrist. And you do that three times. Yeah. And now we're going to be rinsing the mouth and then the nose. So one of the ways you can do it is rinsing the mouth and the nose together. Okay. You do that three times. We're doing it first, the mouth three times, and then the nose. So, right. for instance, oh, that would be one, yeah. Ah, rinse. Uh, put the water in your nose with your right hand. Yeah. And then use your left. 
left hand to take out the excess. Yeah. Now we're going to be rubbing water into our face, yeah. making sure we get until the earline and the jaw. And as for you and me, we have the beard as well. Yeah. So then, as you come down, this is so. This is what you do. You make sure you get your whole face basically. Right. Well, just like this, making sure I got all the face coming down. Yeah. Then as you've got the beard as well, run your fingers through your beard. Okay. So it's like yeah. So you want to do this three times. You want to make sure, yes, exactly. You want to make sure you get water everywhere on your face, around your hairline, up to your hairline. Okay, so now we're going to be cleaning our right arm yeah. up to the elbows and then our left arm. Again, it's three times. Okay. So as such, so run the water into your hand, put down your arm, and you make sure that you get every part of your arm to your elbow. Yeah. And all around your wrist, from the inside and the outside of the elbow, yeah? Okay. So again, that's three times. Uh, I believe so, the new, new Muslim or just teaching him how to make wudu for the first time. <laughs> and this will be this will be on uh, YouTube. So okay. if you want to say salam to our viewers. Salam alaikum brothers. And wallahi these two brothers, this is Islam by the way guys, yeah? Wallahi by Allah I don't know either of these two brothers. But they're my brothers in faith, all right? Of course, of course. I, I can give you a hug. Of course, of They're course. my brothers in faith. Of course. And just what I said about James as well. Yeah. Salam alaikum okay. Salam alaikum brothers. Salam alaikum brothers. And this is the brotherhood in Islam. Just like what I said about Jade before, is that, and this is what I was saying when you took a shahada with me, is that, khalas, when someone takes that shahada, you will spoil your blood for them. They are your brother. Alhamdulillah. And you know, there's that saying in English, they say, blood is thicker than water. But let's add to that as Muslims. Tawheed is thicker than both. Monotheism, Islam is thicker than both. So let's continue with the wudu, inshallah, and then we'll move on to the prayer. So again, so you've done all three, yeah? Three, yeah, inshallah. So, in one motion, so you put water in your hands again, in one motion, you go up your fringe, down to the back of your head, yeah. and then come forward again in the same motion, okay? okay yeah. Then, with your index fingers, you're going to put them inside your ear, to wipe out any dirt from inside your ear. Yeah. Wipe around your ear and then using your thumbs for the back of your ear. Yeah? Okay. So getting the bridge around your ear, all of the yeah. surface area around your ear. This is the final part of the Wadona we will do. By the way, the hair is one, the ear is one. Oh, wow, well, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, maybe you're cleaner than me now. <laughs> well, your right foot now. Run it under the water. What you want to do is get every surface area of your foot, including between your toes, under your heel, until your ankle. Ankle, okay. And this, you do it three times. So you can wipe it with your left hand, make it easier. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Wipe it. And it three times. Once you've done that, straight to the top. Yeah. So, all good with that? Yeah. So, upon completing the wudu, the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is to say the shahada. Can you remember the shahada? And that's ashhadu, ashhadu, an la ilaha ilaha illa Allah, illa Allah, wa ashhadu, wa ashhadu, anna anna Muhammad Muhammad abduhu abduhu wa rasulu wa rasulu. We are now ready to move into the prayer hall, inshallah. So, Jade, you've just finished making your wudu for the first time. It felt nice, it felt lovely. How did it feel? <laughs> I feel refreshed right now. I feel refreshed, yeah? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. No harm in water, right? Exactly. Alhamdulillah. So, back into the prayer hall, inshallah. There's a call to prayer, and it happened no, really. before. Jazakallah khair. So, he's giving you a gift as a Quran. Thank you. Man. Yeah, so. Um, before each salah, there's an ajam that is called, which is a call to prayer. So you know like the Christians, when it's time for church, yeah. they use the bells. Okay. Yeah. Some religions use the drum. Do you know who the first man was that actually made the call to prayer? So he was a black man. His name was Bilal. He was one of the slaves in the time of Mecca. So one of these tyrant leaders. Yeah? 
and he was forced to try and give up his faith for his leader or for the, his owner but he never did and he kept on saying that he believes in Allah alone out of the mercy of Allah and out of the mercy of our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he instructed he instructed the, the, um, for this man to be free so he offered a financial offering to his owner in order to have him Alhamdulillah. So whereas he may have just been a slave for his owner, for Muhammad peace be upon him, he was an amazing character. And he was actually one of our first, he was, he was a close sahaba to our Prophet, a close companion to our Prophet. So what I'll do now, inshaAllah, I'll get upon the river and I'll make a adhan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah Ashhadu So what is now? Are you comfortable, by the way? No, I'm comfortable. I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just trying to take it all in. Anything you know, ask me, bro, if it takes you 20 yeah. times to ask me to repeat, do it, yeah. please ask okay, me. Okay, cool. Inshallah. Cool. Better than being polite. Yeah, yeah. Better yeah. to benefit. Yeah, yeah exactly. Polite, inshallah. Yeah. So our shahada is broken down into two pillars. Right. Our tawheed, sorry. Tawheed means monotheism, as we said. Yeah. Firstly, if we break the shahada down into two parts, you have, you're testifying that there's only one Allah, Allah, God, the second part, you're testifying that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the final prophet, the messenger of Allah. And, Allah God. Yeah. and obviously the book that he came with was the Quran. Okay, right. That's what he gave as a mercy right. to mankind, as he was a mercy to mankind from Allah. If we take that first part of the Shahada now, let's leave the prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, the point of him, uh, aside for a second and concentrate on the first part. That first part is broken down into two segments. La ilaha and illallah la ilaha means there is no one worthy of worship okay. illallah means but allah so can you see so the second one we're affirming that allah is one one correct you understand that so yeah. we're saying for instance in english there is no one worthy of worship but allah right what's that one there is no one worthy of worship yeah but second one is but, but Allah so now let's yeah. concentrate on this yeah. first one mm. there's there no, no one, one worthy of worship yeah. yeah my brothers and sisters and friends at home that are watching this inshallah including Jay and myself as a reminder and uh, our mashallah brother here working as a cameraman is doing a really good job inshallah is inshallah is doing a good job may Allah reward Jazakallah. everyone for their input however big or small alhamdulillah um, this part of our Tawheed is extremely important because 
Before we accept God, we want to make sure that we ascribe nothing in partnership with Him. All right? Just Him alone. Just Him alone. Now, a lot of people, they worship God and they ascribe partners with Him without realizing it. And the way that they would do this is by taking his uh, attributes. God has a skill set. So for instance, the other day we spoke about how God is the all-powerful, the all-seeing, the all-hearing, the all-able, the all-knowing. These are attributes of God. These are names and attributes of God, right? Now say for instance, I was to turn to you and say, Jade, could you tell me what happens uh, tomorrow I have a driving test? Am I going to pass or fail? Mm. I'm assuming that you have a knowledge and ability that is only for the right of God, the future, right? Right. Do you understand? Yeah. But say, for instance, I was to say to you, Jade, my life is going really bad right now. Yeah? Yeah. I turn to you, only you, to help me. Or Jade, my life is going so good right now. I thank just you for making this happen to me. Right. When God is the one able, God is the all powerful. Yeah. You know what we were saying about monotheism, and you said that you know that it's one God alone. Only. With knowing that it's one God and one Allah, this also means that everything that encompasses Him, everything that encompasses Him, must be unique to Him alone. Okay, so basically it's wrong for someone to say, absolutely. You know, you made me like this. Or you. Yeah, we it have everything is yeah. by the will and permission of Allah. Only. Even our meeting. Every hair that grows out of your face is by the will and permission of Allah. Mm -hmm. If you went to the barber shop and cut it off, please don't, because you're a Muslim and you need to be growing your beard and it looks <laughs> good, mashallah. Yeah? And we'll go through the hadith on this anyway. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, the hadith is a prophetic saying of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is that everything happens by the will of God alone. Mm -hmm. which, is so we, which you already agreed before. So we need to make sure that we separate and single out Allah creator from creation right. we are part of creation, creation of course. and allah is above and beyond all of us yeah and the word in arabic is shirk shirk shirk, shirk. you would spell it s-h-i-r-k okay so what shirk is basically is to associate partners with god now many people as we said they would say I believe in God and I don't associate partners with God. Then they'll go to a fortune teller and they're asking the fortune teller to tell them what happens What's in the future. Happen next? Yeah. Coffee cup reading, palm reading, hand reading. And all of that. So check this. This is for God alone. His Lordship, <coughs> His worship, His names and attributes, His judgment. Allah says in the Quran, anyone who seeks judgment by other then Allah has disbelief. Which, yeah. is, which makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah. The law mm. is what Allah has made alone. Mm. Yeah? And that law in Islam is called the Sharia. Because it's just like, it's just like, um, to be honest, if you eat today, or yeah. if, you, if you make a, uh, a money today, or you make a wage, that's not from a man, depending on a man, yeah. or a woman, it's from the most high. You get yeah. bread. That's right. You know, and okay, you know what I mean. From the most high, it's hundred percent on that. And that's it's yeah. the right. Yeah. Yeah. Who gave you the ability? Who gave you the ability to utilize your body in order to make money? Who exactly. gave you the exactly. time of day? day. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Who gave you your very existence? Mm. Who allowed everything to be held in its place? Look, exactly. Subhanallah, the sun. If the sun was just a little bit closer to our planet, our planet would be a fireball. fireball if it was just a bit further away from our planet, our planet would be an iceberg. This is Allah who has created everything and has held it in its place in due course. There are many verses in the Quran which now you have in English. Yeah. To read up on this, inshallah, and then we can talk further. Of course. And maybe one day, inshallah, you never know, you may see Jay giving us tutorials and reminders about our religion. Allah knows best. Yes, you know. Yeah, of inshallah, course. you'll be raising your children as Muslims as well. Inshallah, you know. Inshallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Hayya ala salat, hayya ala salah.
قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله But so basically, the reason why uh, I've been asked by the by the Imam here to give a, a short message, inshallah, is that I myself I give da'wah sometimes, and uh, by the will and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa taala, a few days ago, I bumped into this brother. He was not a brother at the time. He uh, he basically uh, he was asking something of a, a passerby who was a friend of mine. And within 15, 20 minutes of me speaking to him about Tawheed, Alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar, he took his shahada and he accepted yeah, uh, the beautiful deen of Islam. Alhamdulillah. So, what we are doing here today, Alhamdulillah, this is the first time he has actually walked into a masjid. It is the first time I've actually taken him to make wudu. And uh, we're sitting down and we're going to speak to him about Tawheed. And this was actually his first salah. So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you as well for being part of this brother's first experience with Islam. And uh, please remember him in your du'as, because remember that means supplication. And um, alhamdulillah, so uh, as you know, Aki, every single person that's sitting here right now that can see you, by default is your brother in Islam. By default, they would do what they can for you as they would do for their own family. Yeah? And there's no one here that would testify against that. And it is their duty as Muslims as well to love you for the sake of Allah. Because they love Allah. And this is one of their duties, and it's one of the rights that a believer has upon his brother, that he loves his brother. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad says, Al Muslim Akh al Muslim. So the Muslim is the brother of a Muslim. So you are Muslim, they're Muslim, it's your brothers, big family. Alhamdulillah. So I don't know if you have anything that you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So we, anyway, we're going to go back and sit in the crowd. Do you want to go come to Islam? We would love to embrace you. ننفع الرايات سوف يعلمون أن نحن المسلمون قادمون ننفع الرايات سوف يعلمون أن نحن المسلمون قادمون تشهد الأيام عنا والسنون فاسألوا الأكوان عنا من نكون تشهد الأيام عنا والسنون فاسألوا الأكوان عنا من نكون لا لن يطول البعد عن نصر ولن نرضى بغير النور في الليل هدى لن ننطفي أبدا لن ننتهي أملا إنا كبرق في السماء جاء ملتهبا فإذا البرق تجلى فارقبوا شمس النهار واركبوا الرايات تصغى برياح الانتصار فإذا البرق تجلى فارقبوا شمس النهار واركبوا الرايات تصغى برياح الانتصار مسلم جاء كبرق أزرق يسب العيون بأسه حل بكفر برق أزرق 
من يسب العيون بأسه حل بكفر إننا منتصرون إننا منتصرون Would you believe that these people have never met each other? Come, Imam is asking. This is Islam, alhamdulillah. This is brotherhood. So now, inshallah, we've been invited to go and sit with the Imam himself. Uh, and alhamdulillah, he's still getting embraced, man. I'm getting jealous for him. He's getting more love than me. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my hug? Give me your hug. Someone give me your hug. <laughs> There's so much love, you know, and obviously <laughs> from people that you've never met, never met before, and this yeah. is how life should be, you know. First man of Prophet Sallallahu who called the Iran, who called the people to pray was from Abyssinia, sorry, blood. Yeah, yeah. 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 What was the first name? Amo, what was his name? Yeah. 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 Well, this is just a suggestion as well, inshallah, as the brother was saying. So, obviously, you, you know that you, you already, your name is Jane, obviously, you're yeah, 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 in the yeah, system. Yeah, yeah. Now, would yeah. you be comfortable with picking a Muslim name for yourself to be addressed by others? And that's obviously, so for instance. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind. Yeah. 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 A brother, yeah. subhanAllah, two brothers suggested the same name. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, yeah. I think yeah. another, yeah. another person said Subhanallah. Yeah. 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 And coincidentally, yeah. I spoke yeah. to you yeah. about yeah. Bilal. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. 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 maybe it's, maybe it's, it's a suggestion. He's got his name nearly inside. Come on, Subhanallah. I must answer one day. So, it's as simple as that. And everyone, 99% of the humanity believe in the life after death. Of course. Yeah. You want to sit down, inshallah? Let's go sit down, inshallah, guys. Yeah. 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 They're making you tea, brother. The food that our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him yeah. was very uh, popular with. He liked dates and he would eat them in the odd numbers. Now, obviously, there are things in this life that maybe when we hear something from our Prophet, maybe for us we think there's no logic behind it. For instance, Muhammad peace be upon him, he used to eat dates in the odd number. Maybe logically, we think that there's nothing behind it. But what we're trying to do is emulate and get closer to our Prophet mm. in his practices. So even the way that, for instance, we greet each other. Wallahi, I, I don't believe I've met these brothers before. I've never met okay. I just see him now. Oh, just yeah? asked him from. We, we've already yeah. started talking, yeah. joking, yeah. We're, yeah. Down. we're breaking bread together now. Alhamdulillah. Oh, yeah. Because of the sake of Allah. I never saw him, but I love him because of the sake of Allah. That's maybe he hate me now. <laughs> maybe, no, no, no. Sorry, no. Maybe he hates me now because of the sake of Allah. He's hearted none only to Allah. But even if he hates him, I love him. He'll, you know, and Wallahi, he'll I, love I love him too. Him. I love him. Because of what? You know what? You know what? Because he's... Uh, faith of Allah. This is the deen of Allah. It's not my deen. It's not my deen. Okay, if it was my deen, no one would accept this. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I'm no good. I'm a, I'm, listen, I'm a slave. Yeah. I'm a sinner, of course. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he wants his deen to, to be, you know, 
as he loves. So, Alhamdulillah. So, he bro brings you to this deen, and tomorrow we're gonna bring someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My deen is for Allah, it's not for the Christians or the Jews or this and that. My belief is only pure for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and, and accept everything that is in the Quran. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's the most important thing. We don't differentiate uh, prophets, you know, all these from Ben Israel, you know, children of Israel, and all this from. Muhammad al Islam wasn't Albanian, he was a Arab. You know, born in Mecca, and revealed the Quran and Islam to him in his language. My language is Albanian, it's not Arabic. No, but I love the Arabic, Arabic language because of the Muhammad ah, okay. He's knowledge of the Quran. The Quran was revealed in, in Arabic uh, language. Alhamdulillah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> Four or five years, we <laughs> 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 We didn't ask where you're from. But Yep. Ah, no, well, because yeah, you yeah, see, it's not, not, for me, it's yeah, not important yeah, yeah, yeah. where is he from. As long as he plays, he should have it. No, no, for us, it's not yeah. important where are you from. Where you what from, color yeah. are you? Black, red, yeah, green, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, as long as you play in the same yeah, row yeah. with me, you're my brother. That's, brother. That's it. Why? Because That's I believe one day Allah will create, recreate us, yeah. and will not judge us, and will give us, inshallah, a reward in Jannah. I'll be with you, you'll be with me, with everybody, inshallah. So, it's our. Our part of will believe and struggle. Yes, okay. You know, you're you're good. Good. want to become a Muslim. Guidance comes from Allah, but yeah. how He use, utilizes us, only He knows sometimes. Of course, yeah. You know? Yeah. So you've just done your first prayer. No, yeah? the first one, yeah. yeah. First, okay. So could you go us through how did you feel about that, your first prayer, um, and the feeling that you got? And the feeling that I got was yeah. like at peace, you know? Like peace, I felt very relaxed, um, safe. You know, felt very safe. Did you get goosebumps? Huh? Goosebumps. Uh, no, 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 you wanted goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no goosebumps. But obviously, yeah, I felt very relaxed. Um, and yeah, very comfortable and at peace, you know? How about, um, uh, after, it was good, yeah. after the prayer, when honest. all of the brothers embraced you, how, how did that come across to you? How did it feel for you? To be honest, very like, appreciated, like, very loving. So, you know, for people that I just met, yeah, to be very, you know, um, accepted or, or someone new, from, I could be from anywhere, you know, allowed in, in the space, you know, and, and, and just, you know, feeling. Actually, you know, it was your first yeah. prayer, but did you feel a stronger connection with your Lord? Of course, yeah. You felt you know, that? I was yeah, yeah, congregation yeah, yeah. Well. Unity. Unity, you know. Yeah, you know, but time, Shala, it's good, you know. Yeah, in the passing time, Inshallah is going to get more film and film. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, in a um, translation of this verse, Allah says, And I have not created jinn, spirits, nor man, but for worship. You know, even the fact we are sitting here now, sitting down, it's an act of worship. How? If we are doing it to please Allah. So, for instance, even when you eat, you're doing it to look after your body. But if you're looking after your body to please Allah, then it's worship. Mm. When you smile to someone, you could smile to someone just out of smiling. Smiling, yeah. Or you could do it because you want to do it to please Allah. And our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us a smile is charity. Mm. So whereas I can eat today, I can get a reward for it from Allah. I could smile at you and get reward. For it. The brother in there, he's giving you a water. And see, he's saying with the right hand as well. Thank you, bro. Thank you. And this again is part of his worship. So, worship doesn't stop us utilizing all that we have in our life. You're doing it to please him. And then you get rewarded for that. You're rewarded for that, of course. So, you're just making things count. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of curiosity, bro. Yeah. So, the name Bilal was, was mentioned to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. How, does it, uh, how yeah. does it sound to you, man? Bilal. Bilal. So, Bilal basically. Bilal. 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 Bilal, B-I-L-A-L Oh, Bilal. 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 Bilal So Bilal basically, he was the first man that made the call to prayer um, He was a man who was known for his strength in monotheism He was tortured in a way He had rocks put on his body under the blazing sun in Arabia yeah. And he just kept on saying that Allah is one Allah is one okay. La ilaha illallah and Allah is one. Mm. This is what he kept saying. And under this torture, a lot of people would break, right? Of course. He never did. So not only was that, he was the first um, uh, African man who became a Muslim, and he was given the honor of being the first man to make the call to prayer in Islam. And he was one of the closest companions to our Prophet, peace be upon him. 
and he ended up being a very learned man in the religion as well. A okay. scholar, if you may. Yeah. In the team. So I don't know, maybe it's an name. It sounds like a good name, you know? I think it sounds like a good name. sound for you as a Muslim name. I do like it, yes. Your brother, Bilal. Yeah. <laughs> Jay becomes Bilal. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so, obviously it's the Imam that he's, uh, he asked for us to give that talk about you today. Um, and then to sit down with you and... Inshallah, Rabbi Ibn Asallah subhanahu wa ta'ala and... Aqil min lahe in Islam, inshallah. This is the hospitality from the Sheikh as well. So imagine he's a man that dedicates his life to just upholding the masjid. And okay. He's here for five five daily prayers. Um, first one at sunrise, last one. This, when we do this, by the way, this symbolizes one God, our Shahada. So, this is when you see us doing this, like in the prayer, when we go, yeah, like that. Yeah, this is when we're saying, Shalom, La ilaha illallah. But we'll go yeah, through yeah, it. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Allah's house. Yeah. Okay, this is Allah's house. Allah's You're Allah's always welcome in Allah's house. It's your house. Brothers, what I want to sisters, what I would like to say, inshallah, is this just goes to show you how it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who orchestrates and with his will and permission allows for certain situations. One of Allah's names is he is Al Makkah. He is the best of planners. Mm -hmm. And he plans. Yeah. He plans. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Is this the black one, yeah? So, so Allah, thank you. you for the... No, no, it's good. Yeah. 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 So, this is just to go, this is just to show you guys. This is just from one question. This is just from one question that a non Muslim asked. A few days later, he's sitting amongst his brothers. Of course, yeah. And his brothers have asked him to make supplication for them as they believe that he probably is most likely to have less sin than us because Allah, out of his mercy, has cleaned his slave. My brothers, every week or wherever you are, use the opportunity to give da'wah. This is one of the rights that people have on you. If they don't learn about Islam from you, where are they going to learn about it? As Muslims, we need to be active Muslims. It is fair play to just sit at home and have your coffee and have your tea. But how about teaching people about your beautiful deen? Do you not want to save them from the hellfire? Do you not want them to be there to make dua for you maybe in their salah when they put their head into sujood on the ground in um, prostration to their Lord? What I would like to say guys is this, look, this is a pure example of someone who already accepted that there's one Allah, his natural disposition, his fitrah, made him believe that there's one Lord Allah. And he doesn't put in partners with Allah any system, any tree, mm. any planet, any book, any just, ideology. Just a few more words inshallah. Um, this all started just from our brother Bilal asking my friend, <laughs> yeah. Now, a few days later, he's sitting eating a penguin chocolate. In the mosque. His name is Bilal in a masjid. He's done wudu, he's done his first salah. He's had about, <laughs> mashallah, 30, 30 brothers embrace him and treat him like a brother. Very now he's sitting down having a cup of tea with uh, some of the, the masjid locals. I think he's uh, got 1.8 billion now, isn't it? Oh, 1.8 billion brothers yeah. and sisters. He's just, he's just, he's just, Allah, knows. Allah knows how many of, how many of this uh, statistic are actually upon Tawheed. But now, nah. in Islam, we've never been the number of issues. Alhamdulillah. Allah but, um, is your Lord. No one is your Lord besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what we need to contemplate upon. So, inshallah, over the days and weeks, if Allah permits it, we will sit with Bila and we will teach him Tawheed. Brothers and sisters, keep our brother Bilal in your du'as, you know. I hope, inshallah, you take this as an inspiration, as I do for myself, it's a reminder as well, always, to show how easy it is to teach Islam. Mm. Islam is an amana upon all of us. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'll say it again, Allah ta'ala says in the Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ And I have not created jinn nor man but for worship. Every single prophet from Adam all the way to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all of the prophets in between all came with two messages. La ilaha illallah. There is no one worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So from your brothers here, sitting down here today, alhamdulillah, it's been an amazing meeting. And uh, if we can get some last words from Bilal, inshallah, before we wrap up. Uh, yeah, it was a really good experience today. I really enjoyed it. Um, I miss that. I feel, I feel like more at peace right now, you know. And um, it feels nice to be accepted by, you know, some new uh, men. Brothers. Brothers, should I say. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I hope to you know <coughs> learn more and more and more every day. Inshallah. You know. Why don't you finish off the video by telling us your name and your religion? Yeah, my name. <laughs> so from today, my name is Bilal. Yeah. And what's your religion? Religion, Muslim. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا الله السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام